It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Please, won't you be my neighbor? Good day, folks. So we're back for another movie review. Uh, is this movie worth the money to go see or is it a waste of money? Should you pay for it or is it a waste of money? And if you could tell by the attire, we went to go see A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, a movie about Fred Rogers, AKA Mr. Rogers. Hmm. I'm gonna let's just let you leave this one off. Um, I guess first give a synopsis on what the movie is or was pretty much about. Guys, I could literally skip right now. That's how I feel about this movie. Um, Mr. Rogers, um, well, well, about the movie, I'll talk about the movie. Uh, the, the summary of it is a, journal, a journalist's life is enriched by the friendship when he takes on an assignment profiling Fred Rogers. This is based on a true story and we all love true stories. This, this is what this was about. So it was like this, this guy, life, his story, but also about Mr. Rogers. Yeah. It was kind of like both of their lives in the story. Not just, oh, we're gonna sit here and watch a documentary on Mr. Rogers TV show. Even yeah. though the TV show was definitely a part of the of the movie, a huge part, but it was more so how he affected the life of this journalist um, from you know his his perspective on it. Um, and I, I did have his name, but don't know where that went. Okay. It was real wit written and how they put it together. Uh, for me personally, in the beginning, I was thinking like, okay, where is this movie going to go? Um, they shot it and gave you the feel of it being in the 90s. It had its creepy moments, you know, Mr. Rogers was known for being a little creepy. Uh, it was kind. Never creepy, but he was, he was kind, kinder than most people, which is considered weird. In these yeah. in these days, it, it it definitely gave you the feel. Of, you can't of tell me creepy. didn't have like a little creepy it, moment. It did because he it's had like, creepy uh, little ways he did things, and uh, it was who he he was. I hate to call it creepy, but he was so much different than everybody. But but just to to tell you that uh, the guy his name was um, Tom J Junod. He's an American journalist. Um, that like i don't know he got prestigious awards for his magazine writing and this is the person uh that was affected by the life of mr rogers his interaction with him but um mr rogers tv show ran for over 40 years um and he honestly like looking at this movie and just a little bit i know him from the tv show as a kid but this man was like the white Martin Luther King. Like he come in and time stopped. Like people had so much respect for him. It was crazy. Like it was crazy how they respected his presence. Um, but it was just an awesome, awesome movie. Like I can't, I can't say nothing bad about it. Like period. I can't. What, what do you have to say? Like, bad. What didn't you um, like? It was it was slow in the beginning. Like I said, I didn't really I didn't really know where the movie was going. I'm like, okay, let's get to to where it's going. Like, you know, towards the middle. At that point, and with the dad, the journeys and the dad, then I finally got like, okay. This is the meat and potatoes of the movie, and um, you'd think though by him just talking to him, seeing 
about his like talking to him about his life that that's where it was gonna go yeah i mean eventually exactly. it just yeah it just it took a little time to, to really watch Mr. Rogers get the there i did but i didn't mm -hmm. you know i watched it but i wasn't like you know like watching borny or something right like. so that and that's another thing if you like don't watch mr if you didn't watch mr rogers if you don't know you know everything that they did on the show you're not gonna be as easily like drawn into it like i was probably i was like like ready just because i i really liked him as a kid so i really didn't necessarily care where the movie was gonna go if that makes sense mm -hmm. like I, I already liked it i liked it as soon as i heard the little tinkling in the beginning when the song came on it, it brought back so many just happy memories you, so i was in okay there from you know what made it creepy like like it could have been like a scary movie is in the beginning when he was opening those doors and then it was his face on the door and kind of how it led into it like yeah but that was just made you know crazy. you know mr rogers always came when you sat down he had something there that was going to be the new item for the day so i was already I aware of it. I, I guess it was kind of like a part of the movie like to they, swing they, us they in that direction that with the perfectly movie. like yeah i know but what i'm saying is you can't tell me that wasn't creepy no that's where it wasn't because i was used to it he always did and he just had a picture of somebody's face yeah it could be a picture it could be anything sitting there that he would show for the day so yeah. that that's what i'm saying i i already knew not showing that man it was like okay well who is this well that's my point he showed this man <laughs> and then they kind of like just this man with a, with a freaking bloody nose right. and i'm like okay this is like right. different yeah, like yeah. he wouldn't show that on the show mm -hmm. so that's what kind of threw me off like okay where is this going like right. that's kind of i wasn't expecting that right um right but i definitely think this is a movie you should pay for and go watch it had a lot of depth to it for us like uh, you know, family issues and a lot of things that can hit home with a lot of people. Um, so it's it's definitely it, you should go watch it. Like it's it's really a movie to go pay for and watch, and you would sit there and really enjoy the outcome, uh, what the movie truly was about. Yeah, he he touched a lot of people. Um, you can just tell, and he um, I don't know, he definitely went down in in, in the books for sure. Um, if you don't know Daniel Tiger, um, it's a kid show on Nickelodeon. I'm sorry, on uh, Channel Nine. Also, as Mr. Rogers was, uh, his show is a spinoff uh, from Mr. Rogers' uh, show, and he practices kindness and turning your anger uh, from anger into you know different things. But if mm -hmm. you don't watch that, or if your kids don't watch it. Um, let them watch Game Type. You would definitely learn a lot about yeah, channeling sense. your uh, feelings like the we anger. did when we were kids, right? Turning mm -hmm. the anger into something else. And that was really what he was about. Um, just not anger is okay. But, you know, how do, how we express it is, is different. And Mr. Rogers had this thing where he would bang the piano, you know, when he was upset or he would go swim. He would just turn it to other things versus letting it, it show. And that, that's important even for me. Um, but yeah, great, great, great film. I definitely give it a 10. I do agree. You know, he, he wasn't, you know, a normal guy as far as what we're used to. You know, he, he was different um, in a good way. And um, so it's a, it was some weirdness there because it's not something we're used to. But um, other than that, Tom Hanks, I mean, was an amazing actor. He played him to the T. Like, you literally thought some parts would have been the original Mr. Rogers. Um, but I totally recommend the movie. I give it a 10, hands down. Everything was well distributed in the, in the film. Other than that, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you've seen the movie, uh, comment below or um, let us know what you think. Uh, what was your thoughts Were on you it? Were you inspired? Did you? What did you take from it? I want to know. Other than that, peace out. Are you gonna play it? You're gonna play the beat of it.